Oh shit, the lights that went off, nigga. Hold on, day. Oh man, I'm in the dark, son. I'm in the dark. Hold on. No, I'm back. Shit, man. What up, Alicia? What up, though? I'm going to wave back at you. I'm a little inebriated right now, man. I'm a little inebriated, man, so you know what I'm saying? Hey, this is my dog right there. It may start talking shit, man. But I just had to really kind of just process what just happened. I just got done doing this show, man. Shout outs to Bobby Smith, man. Shout outs to Jeff, you know what I'm saying? Shout outs to Drew Blue. Appreciate that, homie. Appreciate Drew Bluesy. You know what I'm saying? That's my dude right there. Appreciate Irma. You know what I mean? Irma was in the building doing her thing. So I just got done doing the show, man. And the show was cool. You know, it was people that came out for it. You know, appreciate those that came out to the show. It was at this bar, man, but I'm not going to say the bar's name right now. But what was interesting was that, man, so it was a, a table full of, a table full of people. I ain't going to say that. It was about a table of four. Loud through the whole fucking thing, yo. All right. Now, I understand this was at a bar. It was at a bar. But man, you know, so it was some misunderstanding at the end, all right? And so a couple of people confronted this table full of people that was loud through the whole show, through everybody's set. And I mean, this table just so happened to be a table, you know what I'm saying, that had some Hispanic people there. I don't know if the table was full of Hispanics. I saw the table, you know, behind us, you know what I mean? But what ended up happening, man, was that, you know what I mean? It was about to be a motherfucking problem up in there, B. So the dude, the dude that was on some bullshit, he decided to start talking crazy to the females and these were black females and they they were actually girlfriends of the other comics they get to talking crazy to the black women right so then when that took place man more and more men showed up and the dude the dude just kind of backed up he yeah, he backed up because he he saw a lot a lot of black dudes come come towards him. Trying to figure out what 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 was the problem. This dude backs up and he says, "I fuck all you niggas up in here." See, this is my problem, yo. Out here in San Antonio, Texas. You got way too many Hispanic people, man, that just be Throwing around the nigga word all the way around, man. In this in this climate that we in right now, you just can't be talking like that, man. You can't be talking. Look, man, I come from a city where I come from a city where people don't even use the term nigga unless they in an environment where it's acceptable. You got too many people out here in the city that probably use the word towards each other all the time. The difference is, is that they know when to use it. 
it was other people in this bar. But he broke out the N-word as soon as he saw all these N-words come close to him. <clears throat> to the point where, see, the thing is with me, I ain't gonna lie, the thing is with me, with a nigga like me, when I hear the N-word, man, I still come from that generation where I lose it, yo. I lose it. I can hear the word nigga and I can I can I can be ready to just tune out because you know what I'm saying? I'm used to hearing the word followed up by some type of violence behind that shit. Bullshit, yo. Straight bullshit. Best shout out to Bobby Smith, man. You know what I'm saying, shout out to Jeff, yo, them, 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 some good dudes, man. You know what I'm saying. I went to the, I went to the owner of the spot, Drew Bluesy. What up, man? Hey, Drew Blue. That's my Igga right there. It's my Igga, not my nigga, my Igga. <laughs> shout out to Drew Blue, man. He had, a, he had a good set, man. He, he was emceeing. They, they was rocking with him. You understand? But, um, yo, yo, yo. Hey, man, I got love for Hispanic people, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to Ever. You know what I'm saying? He's, 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 you know what I mean? There's some authentic Hispanic people out here. But I'm going to be honest with you, man. There's a lot of Hispanic people that be on the shits, yo. You know what I mean? It's like you 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 know when to throw the word nigga out there. You know when to throw it. You know when to say that shit. You know when to say that shit. You know when to say the nigga word. You know when to say it, B. That's my whole thing with these Hispanic population out here, man. They know when to say it, man. They know when to be cool, and then they know when to be like, I'm going to call you a nigga so I can see how much of a rise I can get out of you, especially when there's multiple black people around. You understand what I'm saying? Shit could have got, shit could have got real bad up in there. It would have been this, 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 this dude's fault for the simple fact that He's the one that, that started the shit. I can't help that you start throwing out some derogatory hate crime terms. These because see that's the thing. You 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 use that term right now in the wrong d degree. It could be a hate crime. If a white man calls you or a Hispanic person calls you a nigga and they ain't using that as no term of endearment, but using it as some type of threatening way, that is a hate crime, sir. That is a fucking hate crime. And you almost tasted some of that shit tonight. All I'm going to say is, man, just be glad. Just be glad that you in, in, in this city right here. Just be glad you, and because you ain't going to Houston doing that shit. But just be glad. Just be glad, man, because if you were to come, if you were to come to Indianapolis, if you were to come to Indianapolis, and you were just to throw a word, the term nigga all the way around, you would you would get mopped up and down. You would get mopped up, up and down. That's my thing, man. This this whole show, the show was great. You know what I mean? People came out. You know, it was a nice little setting. You know, the mic was right. You know, all, all the all the all the uh the acoustics was on point. You understand what I'm saying? You know, the crowd was nice, but it was that one table. It was that one table. That were probably regulars that come to this bar, but they would not shut the fuck up. See, that's the thing about bars, is that when people come to bar shows, more than likely, a lot of them are regulars. You know, a lot of them are, are people that come to places like this on the regular. I don't know how long this bar's been up. 
I don't know how long this bar has been going, but I'm going to tell you, man, I didn't like the way I understand. Okay, yeah. So when, when the females were talking to him, that's the part I rolled up on. You know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden, you know, shout out to my, my, my guy Lang, man. Hey, Lang, man, that's my dude. He comes in and he tries to <clears throat> he tries to get him away from everybody and he's trying to talk to him. Well the dude wasn't trying to really talk. And then when he was like, I oh, fuck all you niggas up in here, ah oh, man, I wish I wish somebody could have recorded that. Because everybody was like, oh, like it was Def Jam. Niggas, the niggas was like, oh, shit. Oh. And then some female was like, you want to say that word right now? Right here? Like, man, and then, black, and then the, the, the black people start closing in on him a little bit more. And that's what he couldn't, he couldn't take that. So he backed up. Look, I didn't know. I didn't had a couple shots of Patron. I didn't have some fireballs. I'm drinking Crown. You don't understand what I'm saying? And when he said that, man, I took my jacket. I, I had a jacket on. Took my jacket off. I took my jacket off, yo. I took my jacket off, and I was like, it. It just was just kind of crazy because everyone just kind of got quiet, and I just got louder. And I was like, man, you about you ain't about to be up in here calling us niggas tonight. You got to get the fuck up out of here before you get fucked up in here, y'all. And he just had this look on his face. And everybody just kind of looked at me. Look, man. You ain't going to be you ain't going to be able to in 2019, man. You ain't really going to be able to kind of talk like that man you can't you can't really talk like that man you can't really be out here throwing out the nigga 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 word you can't do like what up Bobby you can't really be what up cuzzo hey you uh cuzzo you in uh you in Chicago or Dallas I don't know if I asked you that last time you in Chicago or Dallas I know your brother in Dallas, but are you in Dallas too? Or are you in Chicago? But yeah, man, shout out to Bobby. Shout out to Bobby Smith, man. Schmitty, man. Shout out to you, bro. I, I gained a lot of respect for you tonight, man, and the way you operate. Uh, you know, like I was saying, man, like, man, you in this climate we in right now, man, you can't be out here just throwing out the nigga word. I'm trying to say, man, like I said, I got love for a lot of for Hispanics. I got love for people, period. But Hispanics, man, since I've been out here, see, like I said, in, in Indiana, man, it ain't a lot of Hispanics like that. Chicago, all right, cool. In Indiana, man, and especially where I'm from in Indianapolis, you do have Hispanics, but you don't have it like it down here. Down here, it's literally North Mexico in San Antonio. Like, it's two hours from the border. You understand what I'm saying? And it's like, man, Hispanic people know how to turn on and turn off the disrespect when it comes to using the term nigga. They know when to do it, man. They know when to cut when they know they know how to talk to you. And they know how to like they know how to talk to you, man. Like I swear to God, when I, I worked as a valet, I was at this hotel downtown San Antonio, and it was near a gay bar. So these, you know, people were walking out, man. People were walking to their cars. I seen two Hispanic dudes walk by this black chick who I can tell she probably a dope fiend. You know what I'm saying? I, I what up, cuz old Nikki J. I uh I know she was a dope fiend. You understand what I'm saying? She's walking towards me at the time I was smoking cigarettes. She was walking towards me trying to get a cigarette and she like bumped into the one of the Hispanic dudes and I swear to God, man, the the two Hispanic dudes were, were like walking and talking and they were like, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. The moment that black chick bumped into that Hispanic dude, man, his whole face shifted, yo. He was like, hey, yeah, 
What you bitch? I mean, this motherfucker look. He look like. He look like some demonic. Just showed himself, and then he went right back to acting cool with his buddy. And see, man, I get it out here, man. There is a, a, such a thing called Hispanic supremacy. And that's popping out here heavy. It's popping out here heavy, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's what happened tonight at this show. You know what I'm saying? It was a small, intimate show. It was at a bar. You know what I'm saying? And look, man, the table the table just wouldn't shut the fuck up. And, you know, the, the, the owners of this spot was Hispanic, of course. And this is the thing that got me. I know that these people had to be some regulars that go there. Because if they were loud like that to the point where somebody had to come say something to them, why ain't nobody from the bar say something? Ain't nobody from the bar say something. We in, I ain't going to say upper scale San Antonio, but we in a nice little area. We was in Alamo, like Alamo Heights, man. Live Oak. Live Oak. I think that's what that shit called. Live Oak. Look, man, that motherfucker. He said, I fuck, I fuck every nigga up in here. Ah, oh, man. See, that's the thing. Like, that's what I'm saying, man. You can't be doing that. Everybody was trying to be PC, man. I was on, I was the only one on that, on that rah rah shit. They try to come to me. They they swoop down on me. The owners of the place swoop down on me. They had look, they had no security up in this spot. You know what I'm saying? They they came they came down and they came to me and was trying to get me out of there. But like I said to the to the they said they were the owner. I said, look, if if I were up in here calling you a nit up, if I was up in here calling you a spick or calling you a wetback, you would not let me stay up in here. This dude used a derogatory term called called. Said I'm a I'll fuck every nigga up in here, and you didn't see none of that. You didn't hear none of that. Like I I don't you know what I'm saying like that's the thing, man. They be on code. They be on code. See tonight I wasn't on code. I I fuck I take that hit. I wasn't on code tonight, and I think that's the the main part was when he said it. I was I kind of rolled up on and was peeping out what was being said. Look, man, my whole point is I'm about to get up out of here. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to the fam that everybody, that, you know what I mean? That's one thing about Facebook, man. I may be rumbling, man, but I'm a little blowed. I'm a little inebriated. You feel me? I have gotten more of my family checking me out on here. And I'm, and I'm, I'm glad, man. I'm glad I've been able to request y'all. I'm glad I've been able to, you know what I mean? interact with y'all you know what i mean we need to keep that going keep building but yeah man uh i'm, I'm about to be out man i just want to get on here and talk some little ish right quick i mean hit me up on my platforms man give me a jsky.com hey you might see some footage of this popping out later on hit the like button man share it man i'm out though all right man peace